Hey folks, my name is Michelle. I am the seventh grade social studies teacher, seventh grade team lead, and a founding educator here at West End Secondary School. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about Jump Rope and how we use it as a tool to track students' progress over the course of their expeditions at West. So I've started with a learning target for parents and guardians and other folks who are using Jump Rope at home. Um, and that's, I can develop my understanding of jump rope as a tool to understand my child's progress at WESS. Uh, what's really important there that I want to highlight is the idea of progress. Jump rope is not a uh, end of the line. It is not something to check only when we're at the end of an expedition. It is something that is consistently updated throughout the expedition to keep track of students' progress. So jump rope is aligned with standards-based grading. What that means is we essentially separate our grading uh, in between students' academic mastery of content and skill standards and their work habits. On Jump Rope, the work habits are referred to as habits of mind. Academic mastery is work that reflects the content of the subject area, that represents skills taught in that subject area, and work that achieves grade level mastery of academic standards that are based on the Common Core. Work habits means that students are working to create beautiful products, products that are organized, that are turned in on time, and that it reflects their commitment to an empathetic learning environment. For example, um, if students have an upcoming Socratic seminar, they might receive an academic mastery grade for the claim that they write, for the way that they present their understanding of the content in the spoken seminar, and for their ability to engage in a thoughtful evidence-based discussion. They might receive a work habits grade for their ability to come with their materials prepared for the seminar and their ability to speak in a respectful manner to their classmates uh, and be an empathetic member of that circle and that community. Jump Rope it divides grades into the academic mastery and into habits of mind, which represents habits of work. Within Jump Rope, grades are split up by expedition, and within each expedition, grades are split up by learning target. When you first open Jump Rope, you may not see the specific grades. It requires some clicking to see how each learning target breaks down. Here we have a student's jump rope page. This is a sixth grade student at WES. The page that we're looking at is the page that comes up once you sign into that student's account. You'll then click courses with scores. Under courses with scores, you will see each of their academic courses. A U represents a course in which they have only received habits of mind grades, no academic grades. So if you click a course with a U, you'll see grades for their habits of mind from this student's book club course, which was their first elective of the school year. Under each specific grade, you get to see learning targets and expeditions. Here we have this student's sixth grade social studies work. The first heading we have is overall academic mastery. Everything that falls under this heading is an academic content or skill grade. Beneath that we have the overall habits of mind mastery. Everything beneath that is the habits of work grades associated with each expedition. We can see that they have had two expeditions thus far. The first expedition was me to we. Social studies has two long-term learning targets, one for each case study. So our first long-term learning target we can click the actual learning target and see each grade represented from that learning target. So you can see here what type of work it was, the title of the assessment. Here we see how the assessment is weighted. Often an AOL or an assessment of learning, which is a summative uh, end of expedition assessment, will be weighted more heavily than the assessments along the way, the assessments for learning where teachers are tracking students' progress along the way. Uh, ultimately, when you see the overall average grade for that long-term learning target, it reflects the uh, student's grades um, based on that weight. So if a student has only one four, but that four is weighted much more heavily than the other grades in that learning target, then that will affect their overall average. It's very important that you know that you can click each of these learning targets. It's where you're going to get your more detailed summary of what those learning targets mean. Below here, we see the student's habits of work for this uh, learning expedition. Um, and you can see these are the different things that were checked for this specific habit of work, which is I can complete all of my classwork thoughtfully and responsibly. Again, you can see 
the classwork and project work is weighted, are weighted differently with the classwork being weighted 1.0 and the project being weighted 2.0. When students receive their uh, report cards at the end of each expedition, they are only reflective of those expedition's grades. So for example, if this student was to receive a me to we report card right now, they would have a 3.3 for social studies, even though their overall academic mastery for social studies is a 3.4. That's because the 3.4 is reflective of more than one expedition. Ultimately, expeditions are weighted differently from one another based on the quantity of assignments in each expedition. So an expedition that you, a student has been given many assignments will weight more heavily into their overall grade than an expedition with fewer assignments. This is to make sure that the overall grade is reflective of the student's work over the whole school year. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been an informative explanation of how to use Jump Rope to understand your child's progress at WES. Ultimately, standards-based grading is a much deeper exploration of what it means to assess students than is represented just in the numbers on Jump Rope, but we hope this helps you understand Jump Rope as a tool for understanding your child's progress. Thank you.